What's up guys, E-Drone here. This is my new DJI Mini 3 Pro. Stay tuned. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure the controller and the DJI Mini 3 Pro batteries are completely charged. Go ahead and turn on DJI Mini 3 Pro by pushing the button once on the drone and then pushing and holding again for about three seconds. Go ahead and power on the remote controller. Go ahead and do the same thing, push and then push and hold the power button. Once the controller boots up for the first time, you're going to go ahead and select your language. I'm choosing English for mine. Once you're done selecting the current language, press the OK button, agree to the software terms. Then you can go ahead and select your region. Next, connect to your Wi-Fi. Go ahead and select your time zone. Mine's Eastern. Go ahead and log in your DJI account. Go ahead and activate for the first time. You can join the uh, product improvement or not, I selected to join. Now it's going to show you that you can swipe and it will show you the different buttons and what they do. Really like that they added this feature. Gives you an indication of the lights as well on, on the controller to let you know the status indicator lights, what they're for, what the purpose of them is. Also tells you how to point the controller to keep the best signal towards the drone. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and unsource the app here for the DJI Fly app. Go ahead and watch this little video. You can skip it also. Kind of cool they put that on there. Okay, once the movie's done playing, the DJI Fly app will go ahead and ask you to accept the permissions, notifications. Okay, go ahead and agree to activate your DJI device. The drone will restart. Now you have the option to add the care refresh. You have up to 48 hours after purchase. Next, go ahead and upload the firmware. Now while you're doing this, you're gonna to wanna to fan. Uh, you wanna keep the DJI Mini 3 Pro cool because it does not have an internal fan. Once it's up, done updating, which takes a while, make sure your status indicator light turns green. The screen will restart on the controller. The Mini 3 Pro will restart a couple times and will ultimately power off. We get this screen here. Now we can go ahead and bind to the Mini 3 Pro. We go ahead and power up the Mini 3 Pro. Okay, once you see a green indicator light, Go ahead and switch to camera view. On the controller there, you see the green status light go green. You have now successfully connected to the DJI Mini 3 Pro for the first time. You should have a image on screen. Now we're not done yet. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the About tab, and we're gonna check for all the updates for the firmwares for the, for the uh, Mini 3 Pro, the controller, as well as the FlySafe database. FlySafe database needs updating. We're going to go ahead and update that now. Once again, keep a fan for cooling on the Mini 3 Pro while it's doing any kind of updates to prevent overheating. Okay, we have successfully updated that. We can go ahead and go back into the connect to the app here. Now, we're still not done yet. We're going to go ahead and make sure all of our updates are correct for our firmware. Everything is up to the latest firmware. Okay, so we're all good with that now. As of the making of this video, that's the newest firmware versions. I'm going to go ahead and calibrate the gimbal. I'm going to do an automatic calibration. Always a good thing to do when you get a new drone. Go ahead and do all your calibrations. Just let it do its thing. It will spin from left to right a couple times and then go center. Tilt down. And then it should tilt back up and say calibration complete successful go back into the three dots in the right hand corner and we're going to go ahead and go to the 
cal IMU calibration. Now you want to do this on a smooth, flat, level surface with no movements. And you're going to orient the craft folded, powered on, in the exact way it shows you on screen. So you get a green flash on the LED lights on the craft, indicating a proper calibration. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pop a micro SD card here in the controller. This is one complaint I do have. You do need like a pair of tweezers or really long fingernails to push that into both the controller and the craft as well. Okay, now that we have the micro SD card in the controller, if you slide down the top here, like on your Android phone, you'll get a little window here. You have the option to screen record. So you can record your screen to your micro SD card. Go ahead and hit start. You'll see a little status indicator pop up and that indicator box can be moved by simply pushing and holding and dragging it wherever you would like to on the screen and then when you're done recording you just simply press stop it will save the recording to your micro SD card and you can actually go back and preview it by pulling down the window you also have brightness and the volume uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth airplane mode you can connect this to any hotspot that you can go ahead and make sure your micro SD card set up correctly I really like this if you're familiar with Android this will feel right at home it's got an Android operating system go ahead and click on the screen record and that will actually give you a live preview of your screen recording as well as any screenshots that you take I really like this feature, I like that you can watch it back on the device. Okay, if we go back, you see we have compass calibration for the controller. You want to do this outside with no metal around. Okay, we have the videos here. We can go back and preview and or delete any uh, screenshots or uh, screen record videos right here in the actual controller. And just delete those. You see we have a bunch of settings here. If we go over and swipe, it will get out of that menu and go back into the main menu of the DJI Fly. I'm gonna go ahead and pop in that micro SD card into your DJI Mini 3 Pro so that you're ready to take the drone out for the first time. And now you're all ready to go out for your maiden flight of your DJI Mini 3 Pro. Hope this video helps guys. Please leave comments down below with any questions. I'll be glad to get to them for you. And yeah, stay tuned. We're going to be taking this guy out for the maiden flight soon. Please, please like, share, and subscribe. And there's going to be more DJI Mini 3 Pro videos to come on the channel. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, guys, thanks so much for watching. E-Drone, out.